China's uh, industrialization is amazing because the, the speed is so fast. The China industrialized in just three decades, which took European countries 200 years. So there was a lot of puzzle on China's rapid industrialization because when China started, it lacked almost everything, like formal institutions, or like a well-developed financial system. You think about it, when people do business, they need financing, right? they need uh, credit. Also, they need uh, some protections on, on their contracts. But at the beginning, China didn't have this kind of basic uh, infra infrastructure. But somehow China became industrialized. One reason is because the people made use of their existing streams to start with. You know, in the developing countries, uh, there are uh, people have several advantages. One is abundant labor. There are a lot of laborers. Labor is cheap. Secondly, people know each other. Usually within village, there are strong social trust. So it, basically, people start work in their village, start specializing in one product, like buttons, shoes, or ties. In China, almost every town become an industry cluster. So each household become a family workshop, only work on one step of the production, and then they coordinate. So because the funding of labor, the cost to entry the business, enter the business become very minimal. People can use their home, can buy a secondary machine to start produce uh, some uh, basic uh, manufacturing goods. So over time, you see the cluster emerge, grow. Now in China, there are thousands of industry clusters. So clustering is a defining feature of China's rapid industrialization. It has created a lot of jobs because they make use, it makes use of the cheap labor, abundant labor uh, in the rural areas. Yeah, I think China's e-commerce has developed so fast. Now China has the largest e-commerce market uh, in the world. Uh, last year, the fraction of online sales in total sales is like 14%, more than double of the share in the US. Uh, Taobao and Tmo provide a platform, so thousands of millions maybe and small entrepreneurs can sell things, can sell things online. So most of the online shops are in their apartment, in their homes. So they can use their uh, spare time to work on uh, Taobao. So they don't need to rent a store because they just use their own home. So also there's a fine individual labor for the e-commerce. Some people uh, specialize to call provide supplies to online shops. So they usually near, uh, suited near the online shops, maybe on the first ground floor. They have a lot of samples, designs. Uh, so the online shop owner just come to the, the store, pick up whatever uh, merchandise they like, and then copy the, the picture to the USB drive and post it on their website. Once they receive an order, they come downstairs to pick up merchandise, have it uh, packaged and delivered. So you see, this kind of e-commerce creates many different jobs, packaging, um, uh, uh, photography, uh, design, uh, uh, the online sales, uh, suppliers, uh, produce uh, workshops, etc. Create a lot of jobs. So, actually, most of the e-commerce center, uh, e-commerce, uh, e-commerce co-overlap with the cluster, industry clusters. Uh, if you put the two maps, the online shops and the online sales and the cluster, you will see they're almost in the same place. The reason you think about in the clusters, the people just use uh, online shops as more like salespeople. Before you need to send people to everywhere. Now you can sell this in the place through online to, to China as whole, even to the world. So basically expand the market size. Our re what our research have found that you can reinforce clustering, uh, make deepening at the division of labor. One uh, suggestions uh, policymakers or donors should pay more attention to local industry policies to provide more incentive to local government, make sure they have embedded the interest in developing the local economy. So in China, we have a fiscal de decentralization uh, system. So local government share 
uh, fiscal revenues with the upper level government. So they have strong incentive to promote local econ economic growth, but that's not the case in many countries. So I think how to design some incentive mechanism to make sure local governments have uh, aligned interest in local development. Mm -hmm.